Hello everyone. Uh, since we are working in a Linux uh, system, so uh, it is very important to know the two files, uh, which is uh, very important and which makes the uh, which makes working in Linux more elegant. Uh, these files are the tos dot bash rc and uh, uh, bash profile file. So uh, dot simply means these files are hidden, so it, it's difficult to see this file, but you can see these files using the ls minus a command. So these files are generally in this home directory, and you can if you do ls minus a and uh, if you do ls uh, ls minus a and do dot bash uh, rc, you can see this file right. Even if without this, you can see these files exist. And if you do pass profile, these files also exist in this home direct uh, home directory of your system. So these files are very important because these files uh, are the script which runs by default when you open a terminal. So whatever is written in these uh, files uh, will run automatically. So let's see uh, the contents of these files. So, if we do uh, the one command which we know, the cat command. So, if we do cat uh, bass rc, uh, so you can see the contents of this bass rc file. So, it has this export sac home. So, it's just uh, I want uh, every time I run the terminal, the sac should be loaded. So, I want uh, so I wrote this command. So the, there is, uh, it's defining a uh, uh, environmental variable called sac home and then running according to that environmental variable. This, this there is a another environmental variable called path, which is very important environmental variable. So this environmental variable uh, keeps all the uh, reads all the binaries uh, in its path. So if if you have any binary uh, which uh, is given. Uh, in this path variable so it will read that binary so like if, if I make a binary and keep it uh, uh, in its in this path any any directory in this path and uh, and then I can access that uh, that binary anywhere uh, or any file anywhere so then you can keep adding uh, uh, different paths to that path variable by simply uh, using the colon and there are different other variables which I want to define so this these are all in the bash rc file and I have kept some in this uh, bash profile file so you can see the bash profile file and you can see there are other things in this file which is which makes our life very simpler uh, in Linux environment so there we have defined uh, similarly we have defined this sac home we, you don't need to define in both of the files you can define in any one file because both of the files will run before uh, uh, when you uh, open a terminal or refresh a terminal and I've also used you can see some aliases and functioning so these are some aliases so I use the command called alias so this also makes our life very simpler in Linux because instead of typing so long command to uh, uh, I can simply use few uh, some aliasing uh, to run that command so this and similarly you can define some functions to run uh, some commands and sim uh, you can do various other things and uh, whatever you feel like to make your life simpler uh, in Linux, so you can keep all these files stored in this bash rc or bash profile file. Uh, uh, you can see uh, you, that you can change these files, you can add anything, and this will uh, decide how you run uh, this and your terminal, and those programs will be executed. So, let's just test it. So, let's type uh, this echo and uh, type anything hello world we will introduce equal later but simply means it will 
print whatever is inside uh, this quotes so and then save it and then close this one and uh, let's just refresh this bash rc file bash rc so you can simply see this hello world and this is giving this error because uh, the pa path given in this bash rc file for the sac init.sh which is is not available so you can just remove that and you see that this error will be gone so let's just open this bash rc again and don't need to run this so just comment it out so uh, th these two lines will not be executed and let's save it and and just close it and refresh the window on the pass rc file and see that error is gone now so it's just printing this hello world right similarly you can make changes in this pass profile file according to uh, whatever you desire or whatever makes your life uh, easy, easier on Linux environment. So that's all for this video. We'll see more in the coming videos. Thank you.